So guys, one of the things I, um, I've noticed actually hold a lot of people back from starting a business is capital. Now you have this business idea in mind, but you don't have the capital to start. Now in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you five simple businesses you can actually start with zero capital. So you want to stay tuned. guys welcome back to my channel where i bring you tips and ideas to boost your income both online and offline guys if this is your first time on this channel um consider subscribing by clicking that red subscribe button so i regularly bring you our uh, financial tips that will help um, improve your finances or tips that will actually like expose you to new um, financial or income streams that you can actually open up in your life now today's video is all about um five income streams you can actually um Activate in your life or five businesses you can start with little capital so um the the idea of saying oh you don't have money to start that uh, business you've always wanted to do will no longer come into play but go straight to the um point the very first business you can actually start when you don't have money is drop shipping now drop shipping is a very uh, simple business and it's actually a very sweet business because it has to do with you doing next to nothing next to nothing and actually earning money from your effort now how does drop shipping work now it has to do with you actually connecting a buyer to a manufacturer or a seller okay now most sellers don't really have don't um cannot meet every single um, buyer the the needs okay now a seller might be in a good week and you are in lagos and you know that you have friends who need the product so what you do is that you now connect you now be the go between and you connect the seller to the buyer and you earn from your your effort and that it's so easy to actually start because you don't even have to like open a website and advertise this product or go around trying to um inform people okay i know someone who sells this product i i can link you know it's just a simple um process of actually like getting the goods the pictures of the goods from the manufacturer like very attractive pictures posting them on your whatsapp status and then that is all now people who view your whatsapp status see these goods they reach out to you now what you do is you now okay um contact the seller and then the uh, the the sales takes place now for most people what they do is that beforehand they will arrange with the seller for to get a particular um percentage from each goods that is sold and that way once uh, the the, sell, the the buyer pays the money into your account you transfer to this to the seller and then he pays you your commission now another way you can actually do this is to just add a little uh, something extra to the going price now let's say you have a piece of um clothing going for probably like a top a really nice top going for about probably like four thousand to like seven thousand naira and it's really nice and you know that it's whatever price you pick um it's actually still it's sold now instead of actually not telling the seller the buyer that it's for free going for 4,500 naira you could just tell them it's a 6,000 naira in which case you have now made your 1,500 naira now when this person now sends the money to your account what you do is that you don't send 6,000 naira you just send 4,500 naira to the, 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 the seller and then you keep your commission so right there in the comfort of your home you have made 1,500 naira just for one sale okay now you notice that the more uh, sales you make the more your profit so that is one um, business you really want to look into and guys, another business you really should look into is book publishing now i see a lot of people who would want to publish a book but they are so scared you know they, 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 they keep thinking what if the book is not perfect what if people don't like the book but on the other hand you want to also think what if people like the book what if a lot of people actually need this information you have to give because obviously for you to be writing a book you would be writing on a subject you are very knowledgeable on so instead of allowing fear cripple you to the point where you become inactive think of think of the fact that you'll be helping out a lot of people now when i wrote my first book it was a book on honey okay and i published it on amazon kdp platform now i chose a topic i knew i could actually i knew a lot of a lot on 
and I could actually get more information on get that topic. So I did my research for about um, a week, getting more information on that topic, and then I wrote the book. Now, funny enough, that book was just 12 uh, pages. I wasn't particular about trying to make it perfect. I just made sure I, I, I gave as much as I knew, put as much information as I could into that book, what honey is, where you can get honey, the different diseases, um, this particular simple looking product can cure, how honey can be used for hair, for the skin, everything I, I knew. Okay, and I, I, I wrote into that book and I published it until the later I made my first sale. So that is what you want to do. You want to make sure you just put your best into that book. Don't be so particular about making it perfect. Ensure you're giving your best. And once you do that, your best is perfect enough. And then you can go ahead publishing your book. And there are so many platforms you can publish on to start making money. There's Amazon KDP, which um, is just about the biggest self-publishing platform out there. Now, Amazon KDP actually boasts of a 70% market share. So if you're going into book publishing, that is actually the very first platform you want to look into. Now, you have others. There is Draft to Digital. There is Lulu. There is Beans and Noble. But you really want to get started with Amazon publishing um, your book. Now, guys, the third way to make money, the third business you can actually start with zero capital, is freelancing now freelancing is more like it's it's a very broad term okay now if you have a skill then you want to now sell it out to as many people as you can now if it's a writing skill then there are so many platforms you could be writing um through getting jobs through um to make money okay or you could even do it locally where you get um people who are bloggers bloggers are always in need of articles so if you if you um go on facebook you get one or two bloggers send them samples of your work and then you um are in money now article writing it's not too expensive this part of the world you know most people write for two naira per word but if you really know what you're doing, you could actually get um, a client to pay you up to 5 naira per word. And then you're writing an article of um, 1,500 weight or 1,000, which is the least most people go for. So for 1,000 weight, you're making 5 naira. And if you're really good at writing, if you're really fast, then you could be writing a book, a, an article in a day and making 5,000 naira. So which means in a month, give or take, you could be making over 100,000 naira just from your writing skills now if you're into graphic design then this is another skill that you can freelance on you know you could design our flyers you could design banners you could design pins there's just so many things you could design and then you can get your um prospective clients anywhere especially um, via facebook groups so you want to look into this means as well and the third way to make money, the third business you can actually start with zero capital is a um, virtual assistant. Now, most um, individuals, especially bloggers, have a lot on their plate and they really can't do everything. Okay. Now, you could now pitch to them um, opting to be a virtual assistant. Now, a virtual assistant has so many roles, you know, depending on the client you are working for. Now, he or she could want you to do so, so, and so things. So, you really cannot peg your price. It is when you meet this client that you now know what the job description is about. So, you can now um, arrange um, a particular price um, that works for you. Okay, so, this is another um, business avenue you want to check out as well. So, guys, the last way, the last business you want to also start is um, social media manager. Now, becoming a social media manager is um, easy. But at the same time, it, 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 it would require a lot of smarts, a lot of um, effort on your part. Now, managing um, the media pages of um, brands um, takes a lot. Now, when you, before you get started, you want to go out there to check out brands to see what's um, available. You want to join um, um, groups by uh, social media managers to see what's, what's obtainable. Um, at the very moment. So once you do that, once you have an idea of really what's obtainable, what are the duties, what duties you would be uh, required, that would be required of you, then can I go out there pitching to bloggers, pitching to brands, pitching to just about any um, individual you know has a, a, a social media presence and then um, you could be lucky to land a job, you could be lucky to land um management job for two brands which will boost your income and then you are in money so that these are the five businesses you can actually start with zero capital 
um, wherever you are from where, whatever part of the world you are okay now i hope you've been able to get a thing or two from this video now i regularly share tips like this tips to boost your income both online and offline if you'd like to get more of such tips guys consider subscribing by clicking that red subscribe button turn on your notification icon like this video share it and i'll see you in the next video bye guys